Hi, chapter number four talks about attribute data. A lot of exercises on manipulating, creating new columns, and summarizing attribute data right here. What we're going to do in this exercise is look at the nature of attribute data just for the state of North Carolina and the 100 counties in it, and then we're going to go through and calculate a new column on something called sex ratio, which is based on the ratio of males to females within a particular county. If I right mouse click on my counties layer here, you can look at properties. What I want to do here is open my attribute table. And we've talked a little bit about the attribute table before. You can see all the different fields that read down versus our records. You can see down at the bottom right here, there's 100 of these. We might have 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 of these different records here, but here we only have about 100. We, here we only have 100. Some of the things that we can do, we can sort. So if I right mouse click on my name, I can sort descending or ascending. You notice right here, the statistics isn't enabled because statistics requires quantitative data, such as ratio, interval, or ordinal data here. Okay, I can do something called summarize, which I'm going to talk about later. Under population, I can right mouse click, and I have both summarize and statistics. For population 2003, I can click on the statistics, and you can see the statistics or histogram of what we're looking at here. We have 100. The minimum population for a particular county is 4,167. It goes all the way up to 761,947. And the total, as of 2003, was a little more than 8.5 million. So I can sort ascending. You can see Tyrell County was the least populous. I can sort descending here, where Mecklenburg was the most populous here. I can go over here to say something like median age, right mouse click on my statistics. You can see a nice bell curve right here, and where we have our maximum, our minimum, our sum, even our standard deviation right here. Okay. So, and you can toggle through our table right here. We can go to the first, or I can go to last. I can click this button to move me to the end of the table. This is especially useful if I'm looking at really big table with thousands and thousands of records. Next thing I wanted to do here was calculate a new column here. I'm looking at sex ratio, the ratio of males per females per, for a particular county. And you can see here I have a column called males and a male, uh, column called females. And actually, it's the number of females for every 100 males. So I'm going to have to apply a formula to this, like I did before within the map for Chapter 3 when I looked at the percent of, its percent of Hispanic population by state. Now what I'm going to do here is go over to this menu right here, and I'm going to add a field. And there's lots of different names that I can give it. I'm going to just type in sex ratio and give it something that I understand. And here I'm going to make it a double double precision, and typically with precision and scale, it's going to be 20 and 10. I know that I'm working with a shapefile right here because within a geo database, it doesn't ask me for the, it automatically puts in the precision and scale right here. I know I'm working with a shapefile when I have to put in my own preci precision and scale, which basically asks me how much space do I want to allocate for this particular number. Double means double precision, which means we're going to have decimal points. I don't want these just as integer values. And I'm going to click OK here. And you can see, as I move over here, I have a new column here. We've all done this in Access before, or Excel. Now, under sex ratio, I can go through and calculate my new column. I can calculate the geometry, which is, looks at the shape, or perimeter, or anything, or even the centroids of a particular polygon, depending upon the geometry. But I'm going to calculate a new field. And I can go on a field calculator right, calculator right here. And now, I have some on the right here. I have some operators, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Up here, I have some other functions that I can put in here. There's a lot of other functions that I can't see. But what I'm going to do is just calculate 100 times, and I'm going to look for my males down here. Okay. Males. And you notice right here, males is in brackets right here. Okay. That means that I'm referring to a particular field in my attribute table divided by females. Okay, so you can see my formula right here, 100 times males divided by females. And click OK. And it's going to take a minute here, and it's going to go through and calculate the sex ratio right here.
Okay, and these are the number of males per 100 females. Now I can sort these. So you can see Haywood, Northampton County, Onslow County is the highest. Tyrell, Hyde, Avery, Granville County, these are all very high. High percentage of males per females. These counties are very low. So I went through and calculated a new column. If I just wanted to see what it looks like on a map, because like we talk about in geography, everything is spatially distributed, I can see what this looks like in my symbology. And we'll see if there's some spatial patterns related to this. I can go to my categories, go down to my newly created sex ratio. And you notice here, when I click on the value here, you can see that the new field that I just created and calculated is already here. I don't need to normalize it by anything since I divided by fam uh, females, I already normalized it. And I'm going to make this a quantile. You can see the distribution right here. It's centered at about 100 right here, and that should make sense. Apply here. And you can see where it's really high. You can see it's high here, a little bit towards the mountains and out towards the coast. And as you can imagine, these darker areas have a lot more males. And you can imagine we have military installations out here, which are going to cater more towards males, and also industries such as fishing, and maybe forestry in towards the mountains, which are going to cater more towards males. So you can see the higher percentage of males within these counties. But as you can see here, using existing attributes, I can go through and calculate a brand new column. 